I start with making the wheels. I use EVA foam and plywood for wheels material. Diameter of the wheel is 17.2 cm or about 6.8 inch. and use 1 inch PVC pipe for the shaft. It's very hard to DIY the wheel dub, so this time I use my friend's 3D printer. I also use plywood for the chassis and strengthen with two lightweight hollow steel. Here I use this Larlo 114 Tragi RC car to drive the Ecto-1. First, I remove all the unnecessary parts like spoiler and front wheels. This is how I utilize this RC car. And yes, this is one of the laziest DIY RC car on YouTube. I'm sorry guys. And these rear wheels are fake ones. And this is how I make the steering and use standard servo for steering it. I set up the front wheels like this, so it will have suspension. Yes, it works. The low wheels are barely visible from the outside. Ecto-1 is based on 1959 Cadillac professional chassis. The Ecto-1 Cadillac was an ambulance in the 70s with the original color already white and red. Did you know that then Aykroyd's original Act 1 was all black, but changed to white because there will be many nighttime scenes on the movie. Act 1 was designed by Stephen Dane for Columbia Pictures. You can see his name as hardware consultant on the movie's credit scene. I use foam board or XPS foam and styrofoam block or EPS foam for the material and then cover it with white packing tape for glossy finish. Why foam? Because the size of the model compared to the small RC car to drive it, I have to make it as light as possible. For the headlights, I use parts from cheap rechargeable flashlight. It's very cheap, less than a dollar each. For the front grille, I use wooden popsicle sticks. The foam board thickness is 6 mm and I use LED strip like this for the lamps. Here I attach plywood formers and then attach window glass using 0.5 mm mica plastic. Wait, what? How come? Oh, actually I accidentally deleted about 50 builds videos. But don't worry, I'll make a quick tour. First, after I attach the roof, I place a 5 cm thick foam block like this and carve it, sand it, and cover it with packing tapes into like this. This polished blue light box made out of mica plastic. You can see the inside is blue strobal LEDs. This lamp is 3D printed. I have 5 of them, 4 with blue lights and 1 with red lights. I use LED stripes like this for all the lamps, red and blue and power with 12 volt battery. This tube is using paper card. Under this foam box, there's an mp3 player to play the serene sound effect. I loop it for around 10 minutes. This one is from foam board and small cables for details. This one, I found it on the kitchen. I hope my wife will not mad at me. From foam again, also foam. Even the rack is made out of foam board and painted black with water-based acrylic paint. I use small water hose for this. One I painted gray and two of them blue and wrap around with nylon thread to simulate a flexible hose.
And this is what's inside the car. I used two batteries, bigger one is 2S for the motor and 3S for all the LED lamps. Okay, now the car is finished, so what's next? Wandering around the neighborhood for trick-or-treat treat is not gonna work. There are no people here around this late, and everybody here is just don't care. Even with illuminated fake pumpkin, so it's not gonna happen. How about ghost hunting? Start catching ghosts, just, you know, detect them. You know, I'm more than a UFO hunter than a ghost hunter. Anyway, there are many commercially ghost detectors around, and they are quite expensive around $60. I know ghost detector is just an EMF detector, so instead of searching ghost detector, I tried to find an EMF detector and I found one here, only about $8. Here is the thing I already got here, it detects EMF, electromagnetic field, why it has to do with ghosts. Well, after a quick search from Google, there are three understanding about this, this phenomenon. First, in ghost hunter community, ghosts generate EMF. Second, ghosts like to be in the area that has EMF because they use the force to manifest. I mean, EMF force, not the force. For my ally, is the force. The third one is from science field, from Michael Persinger's observation that EMF induced human brain to have otherly present feeling and sickness, sometimes hallucinating and seeing ghosts. Either way, we just need to find an electromagnetic field around. I put the EMF detector on the car's dashboard. It will be like this if detecting an EMF radiation. Now we're good to go.
and we found nothing but Tom the cat. He's followed us from home.